Hey, welcome to my channel and today I have another theatre vlog for you. So today I'm actually going back to see Heathers but this time I'm going to go and see it at the Manchester Palace Theatre. Uh, I'm sat in the stalls today, I'm on row P, seat 3, which is actually the end of row. Um, I think it's far right. Um, I paid £22 for that ticket plus booking fee so it worked out about £26 I think. Uh, and I had a, I had some uh, theatre vouchers for my birthday, so I used those. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to seeing the show. It's one of my favourite shows, um, and it should be a good day. I'm going to the matinee, which starts at half two. Lawrence is actually going to the evening showing tonight. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. I'm going to uh, get some lunch first and then head to the show. So I'll get back to you when I'm on my way out. Okay, so it's now quarter to one. Just come to get some lunch before the show. It's about quarter to one now. Show starts at half two. So I've got a bit of time. So I might look around the shops after this. So it's now quarter to two. I'm just walking up to the theatre now. It should take me about ten minutes. It's at the palace today, so it shouldn't take too long to walk up. Okay, so it's five to two now. I'm just walking up to the theatre. I'm a little bit gutted that the... Uh, Marky, so I've got to hold in the chocolate factory on and not Heather's. Just hoping to get a nice picture of the uh, theatre. Never mind. Well, so it's like they've got Jesus, Side Christ, Superstar, Marky up as well on the front. So we'll see if they've actually got anything Heather's related on the front or not. Otherwise, no point taking a picture of the theatre. We'll go on and see. any point going across getting a picture I'm just going to get in a queue yeah, so. okay so I'm in the theatre now and I already have a house programme but we have brochures here they had a brochure last time at the thing, so I think I'm gonna get the brochure. Oh, okay, so I've changed mine, I'm not gonna bother with merch. Don't need a brochure. I'm just gonna to go to my seat. Yeah, this is the queue. It's actually worse than it was in Liverpool and I thought Liverpool's queue was bad. So yeah, not gonna bother with merch today. But I'll see if I can uh, quickly show you what they have got. And I might get a brochure 
in the interval, and it's a bit quieter. Okay, so I'm in stores. I'm just gonna go down. I've just got this to take pictures with. I can get a brochure in the interval. I decide I want one. I'm not queuing up in that queue, it's ridiculous. So, yeah, I'm on. So I'm on P3 today. It should be a side view. I'm on the side. Oh, yeah just next to this pond. Okay, so my seat is just behind this pond. So I'm just gonna go down to the front and have a quick look in the uh, orchestral pit. I love looking in the orchestral pit. Let's see what we've got down here. from my seat. They're yeah, quite a good view, so I'll get back to you now in the interval. So it is now the interval. The show is excellent as usual. I managed to get a brochure in the interval. Um, so yeah, really good. Looking forward to the second half now and I'll get back to you at the end.
so the show is over now it was excellent as usual but i have to rush home now because lawrence is coming to the evening showing so i need to get home so he can come and see it so i'll get back to you when i'm home now much later uh lawrence has actually just got back from seeing the evening showing of heathers so i'll let him tell you his thoughts on it in a little bit but i just thought i'd uh, tell you a little bit about the show i'm not going to go into a massive detail because i did do a video on heathers when i went to see it in liverpool so i'm not going to go into massive detail um but i'll just tell you a little bit about this trip so obviously I went to go and see Heather's The Musical at the Palace Theatre in Manchester. It's currently on there until Saturday the 12th of August. I went to the Wednesday matinee. So the show started at 2.30. I played, paid £22.50 I think for my seat plus booking fee. So it ended up being about... 26 pounds something for my seat and i was sat in i was sat in the stalls row p seat three and actually the view from there was really good i didn't think it would be as good as it was but it was actually a really good view um when i went to liverpool i think i only paid 13 pounds for my ticket and i actually think the view from liverpool might have been slightly better but i did move actually because there was a lot of empty seats a bit further down the row um but i don't think they had any 13 pound tickets for um manchester shows uh if they did they must have gone straight away because i didn't see any 13 pound tickets for the manchester shows so yeah the 22 pound tickets were the cheapest that i could find uh but like i said the view was really really good so i was happy with my ticket uh, lawrence also paid 22 pounds for his ticket um he was sat in the stalls he was sat a few more rows back he was sat on the left side as i was sat on the right side so i think he was in row u around seat 37 something like that um and he said his view was quite good from there as well but he is quite tall so he can look over most people's heads whereas i'm quite short so if you get tall people in front of me sometimes i can't see but where i was sat i thought i had a really good view uh, merch wise they had all the same merch that they had when i was at liverpool so they had mugs keyring magnet uh cropped hoodie joggers socks a diary a makeup bag um i think they were out of pin badges um and then they had the programs and the brochures i actually bought a brochure because I already had the program from Liverpool and it would have been exactly the same. I thought since this is one of my favourite musicals, I thought I'd get the brochure. So this was £10, whereas if you get the house program, they're £5.50. But I thought uh, since it's one of my favourite musicals, I would get the brochure. And the queue for the merch. If you watch my Liverpool video, I told you how big the queue was in Liverpool. This was even bigger than the Liverpool queue. Which I'm surprised at because um, at Liverpool they weren't selling programmes anywhere else, the house programmes. You could only get them at the merch stand, which I think was why the queue was so big. However, here they were still they were selling programmes other places, but the merch queue was still massive. It went all the way from the merch stand to the steps that go up to the Grand Tier. So it was a very, very long merch queue. So I got in the queue and then I thought, oh, it's just too long, I can't be bothered waiting so i didn't bother getting anything uh, before the show started but then in the interval i went and got one because i was sat on the end i was able to get out quite quick i think i was like the first person at merch stand in the interval so i bought i bought it then 
um, and I said that was £10 so I'll go through that with you later. So if you don't know the story of Heathers, although I think most of you probably do, I'll just quickly tell you what Heathers is about. So it is based on the 1980s movie Heathers and the story is about Veronica Sawyer, a girl in high school who ends up becoming friends with the Heathers who are sort of like the mean girls of the school. Um, she's only friends with them to try and help her get through high school so no one bothers her. Um, whilst at school she meets Jason Dean and falls for him and he and one day at a party uh, Veronica ends up falling out with Heather um, Chandler who is like the leader of the Heathers and so the next day she goes groveling to Heather to try and get back in her good books. So whilst at Heather's, Veronica is there with JD and he suggests putting something in uh, Heather's drink. And Veronica says no because that will kill her. Uh, but she accidentally picks up the wrong cup and ends up giving it to Heather and Heather ends up dying. Um, JD then seems to get a first for murder and ends up killing other members of their class. He ends up killing Kirk and Ram who are on the football team who had made, previously made Veronica cry and this was his way of getting back at them. Um, and he tricks Veronica into their murder. So after Kirk and Ram's murder, Veronica eventually realizes that this has gone too far and that it needs to stop so she breaks up with JD he then decides he wants to uh, blow up the school and Veronica has to try and stop him so that is the basic story of Heathers um, the, the music in Heathers is really good I absolutely love the soundtrack for this show it's one of the reasons why I love it so much always listen to the soundtrack all the time uh, I think some of my favorite songs from this are probably I Say No is probably my favorite one and um, other songs that I like are Beautiful which is a opening number and Dead Girl Walking as well I really like that one so at this performance we actually had one understudy on we had the understudy on for Heather McNamara so we had Eliza Bowden on for Heather McNamara whereas it's usually Billy Bowman um, or, that plays Heather McNamara um, but she was really really good I thought uh, Eliza did a really good job as Heather Mac. Uh, standout performances at this show I thought Jacob Fowler was excellent as JD I seem to notice him more in this one than when I was in Liverpool I'm not sure why but I just thought he played JD really well and it seemed a little bit creepy which JD is supposed to be um, but yeah I thought he played him really really well and he's got a really good voice as well so I was really impressed with him. I know he's played JD before at the other palace, I think he was at the understudy for a while and then he became the main JD so he's played this role for quite a while which is probably why he's got it down, he was, he was really really good. I also thought um, Verity who played Heather Chandler, I thought she was excellent as well. And Jenna Inns, who plays Veronica, I thought she was really good. And also, again, I think I mentioned this in um, in my Liverpool vlog. I thought Connor McFarlane, who plays Ram's dad, he also plays JD's dad. Uh, I just thought he was really good uh, as JD's dad and mostly as Ram's dad. I thought his rendition of um, Dead Gay Son was excellent. He, he, he plays that part with like such passion it's just the best way i've ever seen that song performed and i just i just think he's really good because usually that song i can take it or leave it but when he does it i just think it's really good i actually didn't think it was as good as when i saw it in liverpool i thought he was outstanding in liverpool this this one was good um but yeah liverpool when he did it in liverpool it was amazing um but yeah, really enjoyed his his take on that. Okay, so Lawrence is back now, so I'll let him tell you what he thought of the show. There we go. 
There you go, Fox. I know, pretty good. I really enjoyed it. Saying five from the movie four, sorry. Because uh, when we first saw it, we didn't really know about what was the bill. And I didn't make the connection until afterwards and realised it was based on the 80s movie. But this production, enjoyed it. House was good, the scene was good, the production was good. Couldn't find here where. Uh, I had one or two little tackle things in what happened in mine that they had to um, warn John Kid Garen's son they had to stop it because someone seemed to have, was getting sick so they had to stop after that song to clear up the sick and then we assume from that bit they had to and the other bit was during the candy store song it seemed to me it sounded like it was like two or three times seemed to dip out as they were seen low and went high so I think something was happening with the sound there under that couldn't fall down anything better, really enjoyed it. The three headers, pretty, enjoyed them. The headlock channel, the main headlock, she was good performance, enjoyed her performance. I did. Veronica, uh, if you know the names, not the names. Oh, oh. Yeah. Yeah. Jenny Eanes as fuck, Annika, she was pretty good. Um, that's it. Ferenty Tom Thompson, I'm sure I pronounced that way. Yeah, very tough. Ferenty Thompson, she was she was good. And Billy Bowman, who played the head of McNamara, was a uh, good with us on the lighthouse. That yeah, when I saw her in Liverpool, I thought she was really good. Yeah, enjoyed when she did that. Lighthouse on. Uh, I had the understudy, and she was good, but she wasn't as good as um, her. You had the real one, you saw yeah. the afternoon. The afternoon, uh, with the understudy, but in the evening he seemed to get the, uh, uh, the main well, cast. Yeah. The J Jacob Phil playing JD, he played JD well. I enjoyed his performance with JD. Well, he played it at the other palace, he was the understudy at the other palace. Was he? And then he went on to play uh, the main one. So yeah. yeah, I enjoyed his performance. He was good as JD. Uh, yeah, I can't find anyone. There was a big martyr dumbstuck hosting that song, Kingsley Morto. I say she's saying that song pretty good. Yeah. Um, she was a Wednesday, wasn't she? Yeah, yeah. Like and that's where. Yeah, she's very good. Yeah, the big my dead guy song that got a big level of applause. What did you think of the the guy um, singing it? What, Dick Gay Son? Yeah. Uh, the Wham's dad. Do you think he was... I thought he was really good at singing that. Yeah, I enjoyed his... I enjoyed his, it, his, it I off. thought that was much more powerful than when we saw it the first time. Like, that song, I wasn't even... wasn't that impressed with. I, but when I saw I his performance, song, I thought it was really good. Well, it's coming up, I was seeing my head, Dick Gay Son. <laughs> yeah. That song was coming up. Uh, it yeah, but what, what's his name? Connor. Yeah. Connor McFarlane. McFarlane, yeah, I thought he was really good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I thought I was that. I was happy with all the performance and the assemble. They were all good as well. Yeah, you can't fault the headers of the scene. The songs wise are the songs pretty are good. The so good, aren't they? Yeah. yeah. They're strong. Yeah, the songs are. It's. Uh, for your story wise, it's. I don't know how you take it, but it's a good story point of view how it's how to do it. Mm. What, was your, what was your favourite song? My favourite song from Heddles is uh Well from this from this performance. From this performance. Well from this performance I quite enjoyed what I enjoyed most. Candy Store. Mm. I enjoyed that song I did by the Heddles. Yeah. That I did. So the rules stand out for me. Dead gay son. Yeah, I thought that was really well done. Mm. Mm. I think the the account of the boyfriend, I think the first time we saw her, I probably found him more. But that's because that was the first time I've seen her. And I remember the first time we saw her, me, me and Sarah went together, I just heard someone team wise behind us and now I'm going, oh, don't kill yourself. I remember. <laughs> Well, that's what people, when you first saw you probably thought, that's what, that's what she's going to do. Yeah. 
Well, yeah. Uh, still good, but uh, probably I was a bit distracted with what's going on mm. that in the middle. I was on, the set on my wall with you. There was that thing going on, so it kind of distracted me a bit. Sit well to through that bit of promotion to still perform. Still, yeah. And team wise, I'm not get distracted by it. So, well done to all. Costumes, pretty good. Spot on. Uh, can I stand out? That's the thing we had as well, the costumes. They stand out. The mm -hmm. clothes, the clothes. Yeah, very distinctive. When you get mm. people dressing up, don't you? Do you have anyone dressed up? No, I didn't have much dressed up. No, uh, I don't think I anyone a... dressed up in mine. Oh, there's quite a few people dressed up at mine. Maybe yeah, that's why we were so busy in the march. Maybe, the yeah. More proper fans, fans was there. Well, yeah. Uh, you dress up fans. Mm. I didn't have any. I didn't see any dress up in my bit. So you must call, so I must call all the dressed up fans. Yeah. That was buying the march. I had a quick look. So well, let's see what the march was there. Should have got me a mug. Yeah. I sort of put the little seed in your head, but I should have known that you would never buy me anything. We have enough mugs. <laughs> I know, but I really want to have a And someone doesn't support. drink tea. No, but I, I use it for other things. Mm-hmm. Oh? Yes. Okay, so I'll now go through the brochure with you, or souvenir tour book as it's called. So it has the Westerberg High School logo on the front. It says class of 1989 and on the front cover you've got a picture of the three heathers and then this is the information so this has it tells you the book music and lyrics are by Kevin Murphy and Lawrence O'Keefe it's based on the film written by Danielle Waters it's directed by Andy Fickman choreographed and associate, associate directed by Gary Lloyd uh, and then some other information there as well it has this really nice production shot here and it says it's a beautiful freaking day another really good production shot and then it says, Dear Parents and Students, Principal Fickman here. Oh, that's just an introduction to the show. Some more really nice production shots. It's got Kirk and Ram. You've got the um, Where Heather Duke uh, is in the red outfit. Nice one of Martha and Veronica. A snapshot of 1989. Four things. Show 1989. It says, Dear Diary, it's been three weeks since I became friends with the Heathers. Friends isn't the right word exactly. And then this is Heather's doing candy store. This is from just freeze your brain. Some really nice um, production shots in this. But you also do get this um, cast list in here, so I'll show you that in a second. This is a picture from the original Heather's movie, which I have watched actually, which is good, but nowhere near as good as this musical. Uh, so it says here, class act. In 80s films, high schools were the perfect setting to explore one's place in the world. A uh, little article there. Some notes from the authors. Some more really nice production shots. This is a nice one of all the Heathers with their um, croquet clubs.
that actually looks more like Maddy than it does uh, Verity. I don't think that's Verity. You have this from Dead Gay Sun. This is uh, that one's from the Torcast twenty twenty one Torcast. 2021 tour cast Shine a light This is a picture from the 2021 tour cast and then this is This tour cast I was right, this is magic as it says here at the top. It's the 2021 talk house, so yeah, that is Maddy, Madison, uh, not Verity. And then this one uh, is also the 2021 talk house. Souvenir brochure features photographs of the 2023 and 2021 UK tour casts. Production photography by Pamela Rafe. And then you have this. Everyone loves a corn nut. How does a musical based on a 1980 high school flick hold a timeless sway over fans? So a little bit of an article. Uh, got a picture of the director Andy Fickman there then you have some pictures of the merch so this is some of the merch well, the merch the Heather's mug isn't this it's just black uh, like, like the hat black with Heather's on so that isn't the current mug on the tour anyway they also didn't have this uh, jacket either. Maybe you can buy them online. Uh, so it says here available in the theatre foyer or online at the theatre shop dot com slash heathers. And then you've got some adverts. Advert here for Back to the Future musical. I'd love to see this again actually because we really loved it when it was in Manchester so Maybe might have to see that next time we go to London. I've got here for Blood Brothers. Didn't realise that was still touring to be honest, but yeah, it looks like it's still touring. And then for Calendar Girls. And that is your brochure. I quite like that, I thought it was really nice. So this is the cast list that you get inside of your souvenir brochure. So, oops. So here you can see the cast. So we had Jenna Inns as Veronica Sawyer. We had Jacob Fowler as Jason Dean. I've actually seen him before in uh, Cinderella at Hope Mill Theatre was it last year. Um, so I've seen him in that and he was good in that as well. He's also uh, played JD at the other palace as well. 
Then we have Verity Thompson playing Heather Chandler and I thought she was a really good Heather Chandler. Really enjoyed her performance. We had Elise Zavu. I'm really sorry if I pronounced her name wrong. Uh, she was Heather Duke. Again, I thought she was really good. So, Billy Bowman usually plays Heather McNamara. Um, she's the one that I saw in Liverpool. Uh, Lawrence also had her at the evening performance. But for the matinee, it was the understudy. Um, so, I'll show you, show you her later. Yeah, she usually plays Heather McNamara. And playing um, Ms. Fleming slash Veronica's mum is Katie Payne. Kingsley Morton plays Martha Dunstock. Uh, I've seen Kingsley before in Adam's Family and she's really good. She's got a really nice voice and I actually quite like the way that she played Martha. You have Alex Woodward as Kirk Kelly. Morgan Jackson as Ram Sweeney, Connor McFarlane as Ram's dad, uh, Big Bud Dean and Coach Ripper. And like I said, I thought he was really, really good. You had Jay Bryce as Kurt's dad, Veronica's dad, Principal Gowan, and he's also the resident director. Then we had Tom Dickerson as uh Belgrade Geek Liam Dean as Hipster Dog and the Officer Marcus Sugren as Preppy Stud and Officer Summer Priest as Young Republicanette. Maeve Byrne as Stoner Chick. Eliza Bowden as New Wave Party Girl. But for our matinee performance, she was playing Heather McNamara. Like I said, I thought she was good. We had... Eleanor Walsh as Drama Club Drama Queen. Lizzie Emery as Midwestern Surfer Punk. And that is the cast. And then here is the understudies list. Uh, and these are your musical numbers. So in Act 1 you've got Beautiful, Candy Store, Fight For Me, Freeze Your Brain, Big Fun, Dead Girl Walking, the Mean Side of Me, You're Welcome, Never Shut Up Again, and Our Love Is God. Then in Act 2, you have My Dead Gay Son, 17, Shine a Light, Lifeboat, Shine a Light Reprise, I Say No, Hey Yo Westerberg, Kindergarten Boyfriend, Yo Girl, Meant to Be Yours, Dead Girl Walking Reprise, and 17 Reprise. And then you've got your creatives on this side. Got your thanks here, and that is everything in there. So one one thing I forgot to mention was that I think this cast do the uh, freeze frames and slow motion shots really well. Um, how they manage to stand with some of the facial impression, facial expressions they pull, and stay like that for as long as they do, I don't know, but. They are so good at the freeze frames and uh, slow motion bits. Um, I just thought they were, they were really good. They're some of the bits that I really enjoyed watching in this performance. So for me, Heathers is always a five star show. I've never not seen a performance of Heathers that hasn't been a five star show. This cast is excellent, but obviously, obviously last year's tour cast was also excellent. Um, they just always seem to pick really good cast for heathers and yeah i really enjoyed it lawrence also gave it five stars he really enjoyed it as well um yeah it's just a great show and i wish i could go and see it again before it leaves but i'm not 
gonna have chance to go and see it again and I don't think it's on any other theatres that I can get to um but yeah hopefully it'll tour again next year because I would definitely be going to see this again this is a show that I can see again and again and again and never get bored of it although I have to say I did I do have the DVD of the one that they filmed and to be honest I don't really like that one I don't know why maybe it's just because it's not live and it just seems so much better they're watching it but yeah i'm not a massive fan of the filmed one uh but this cast excellent um so yeah i hope you've enjoyed this little heather's vlog um like i said i do do lots of theater vlogs on my channel so if you enjoy theater vlogs and reviews then do hit subscribe and click that notification bell you'll be notified when my next ones go up i do have quite a few that i need to edit i've got all my london ones to go up so i've got one for um moulin rouge matilda uh book of mormon wicked and tina the tinta the musical i've got those five to get up so they should be coming out very soon. I've also got going to Shrek the musical tomorrow. So I've got that one to do as well. Uh, we've also booked tickets recently to go and see Lizzie at the Hope Mill Theatre. Uh, that's in, on in September. So that will be coming soon as well. So if you'd like to see uh, theatre vlogs and reviews for any of those. And like I said, do hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell. I'll be notified as soon as those goes up. So yeah, like I said, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, do give it a like. Don't forget to subscribe and I hope to see you again soon. Bye.